should be live now do let me know right now my setup is very weird so <laughs> gonna have to click on stuff in a very weird way hi people nice to meet you guys so today my setup is very different from my previous stream makes it more difficult for me to see stuff because I'm trying to make the laptop staying out of the shot hello so it has to be physically quite far from me and the fonts are tiny <laughs> hello hello everyone Minnesota Youngstown, Ohio California everywhere hi a lot of familiar names from the UK is it kind of like quite late in the evening now over there should be like what nine no six yeah nine or ten right hello from Netherlands from Germany Cambodia wow hi this is like really, really testing my eyesight. <laughs> my computer is physically quite far from me. And it's a tiny screen with tiny fonts. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Cause uh, this is like really hard. Ah, too much work. Is there some kind of setup that can make this font go bigger? I don't think so. Mm, never mind. Ah. Okay. Bangladesh, wow. Whew. Nigeria, everywhere. How is everyone? How are you guys doing? Lockdown at home? Still working? Kind of working? Kind of not sure what's gonna happen? I just went to a huge grocery haul this morning and it was so exhausting. You have to queue like at this very loose line to even get into the supermarket because they control how many people are in there at the same time. And then obviously you have to like do those crazy queues to get out of the supermarket. So <sighs> bored. <laughs> Still working, cool. Social distancing, locked inside, quarantine. Yeah. Is it really bad in Bangladesh? I'm not sure because I think in India, it's just like there is no official number. It's like the tests haven't been done that much. And with that population, it's very worrying about what actually is going on versus, you know, the numbers that you see. <sighs> French Guiana, uh, Bulgaria. Cool, so many places. So today I, I was thinking we can just, you know, chat about life in general and also drama. And then we can play something, which is, I've picked a few, a few ones that I can kind of play, like not reliably, but kind of play that are uh, Chinese drama themes so that if you watch enough Chinese drama, you'll be very familiar with the ones that I picked. They're not testing everyone in Canada. I don't think so. <laughs> there isn't a test yet like that, 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 that goes to everyone and just say, come in and then we test you randomly to see. I think that would be like antibody test, right? See if you have actually already had it. That's not here yet. I think they're just testing the people that they think might be exposed. I haven't, <laughs> like, I only go out to check my mail, send my stuff mail or uh, check out garbage. And that's the only thing I do. <laughs> so I have no idea what is going on in the world outside. Wow, wow. You're kind of late on that. <laughs> a lot of people have already suffered through it. <laughs> <sighs> 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 
my condolences. It is always very hard to suffer through these things. But then we willingly jump into it, so. Online classes. I think online classes, people are complaining about online classes actually being quite stressful. <laughs> A friend of mine is in New York and she's like, she's doing online classes and her university is doing that. And she said the best thing is like, she can just get up five minutes before the class starts and didn't even have to wash and brush her teeth. <laughs> go out for shopping. Yeah, probably go out for shopping for food. You know, in China, there's an app that's developed by Alipay, um, by the Taobao, like the big corporation Alibaba. It's called the Ding Ding, Ding Ding, because it Ding Ding on your phone. And it used to be an app that's used for management and for working people. Like um, your manager deals out tasks and asks you to review them. It's like a work app. And during this this thing, it became a student app. Like most of primary school students had to download that app and then being followed by that ding, 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 ding noise from the app all the time. It made so many people so stressed out. It even went to Japan because Japan schools started to use that app as well. And so that app's internet, like international uh, rating on app store is like so low because so many <laughs> angry students suffering from the constant chase from their teachers, like submit this, submit that. Oh, cool. Learning instrument, teaching yourself guitar. That's cool. I, I tried guitar. I, I think I tried it like for one month in my life. I, tr I practiced really hard for a whole month. And I can't hold on all the strings with my uh, index. You know, like when you want to change the... I can't, like no matter how hard I press, right? It's, it just seems like the structure of my index finger just wouldn't allow it, no matter how hard. So I gave up. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just like one of those instruments that's just like impossible for me. Teaching yourself Korean and Mandarin, wow, cool. If you learn, like Samantha, if you learn both at the same time, you will you may come across words that are very similar because there are a lot of um, Chinese 成语 that's being sort of like moved directly into Korean. Because I, like when, during the time I was watching a lot of Korean dramas, that was a couple of years ago, uh, I literally like, I remember I heard so many um, words spoken that just sounds very very much like a particular chinese word uh, idiom and then when i look at what it means it actually literally means the same thing so it's very interesting you need a guitar for your size mm. i mean for adults right it's pretty much like similar like they're bigger and smaller ones but not so like different as violins to 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 people i just couldn't do it i don't know because my teacher was like, he didn't understand that either. He's like, why? I was like, I'm really pressing it hard. <laughs> and I just can't hold it down. I don't know why. Bracelet, this is not jade. Uh, jade would not have this color. This, if it's, if it's jade and it's this color, it will be so expensive. It will be like your car expensive, which is not. I think this is, a gate or agate, like how, however you pronounce that word. So it's very cheap. It's not expensive at all. If it's the type of jade that is white with a little bit of red on it, like um, from Hetian, China, <laughs> this thing, this thing will be worth in a car. Yeah. <laughs> and I will not dare wearing it. Favorite Korean drama? I think I wrote a blog a long time ago. I haven't really watched that many Korean drama really ever since I started this channel, which is 2017. So like my last one was something, uh, 
while you were sleeping, I think that was the last one that I finished watching. No, 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 actually, Goblin would be the last one I finished watching the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a long time ago. <laughs> Where did... <laughs> so today will be very hard for me to scroll um, at previous comments just because I'm really far away from my computer. So I'll try to catch up, but if I miss, then you need to retype it. <laughs> Can't reach it. Ah, uh, Eat Taiwan class. I've heard about that one. A lot of Chinese Roman reviews are watching that one too. So all the popular one that's ongoing, I kind of have heard of it just because everyone would be talking about it. But I was like, I can't even finish all the Chinese dramas. You guys seriously, do you know how many Chinese dramas are ongoing right now? It's insane. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Bring explosion. Royal Nirvana, what do I think? Uh, I still haven't finished watching it because it's too painful. And I do not need depression right now in my life. <laughs> it's just so much torture and torture and get back and torture again and torture and cry and cry and cry and more crying. I'm like, I, I need sunshine in my life, you know. <laughs> and I've seen Luo Jing being tortured too many times on screen. I'm like, I've had enough. <laughs> Skating to love. Skating to love. I I've seen it till like teen mid teen episodes and then I skipped stuff. I I don't not like it. I just feel as a contemporary romantic school like university based on drama, it's too long. It's forty episodes, right? It really feels like it, there isn't that much stuff that's like worth dragging it on to forty, but. I love Zhang Xincheng. I really like him. I think he's a, uh, you know, like I said, if actors are, are stocks, right? I'll buy, <laughs> like I'll invest my money and I'll put the money in there for 20 years. Cause I believe 20 years later, the money I invested in, if he <laughs> was a stock, it would be like 20 folds, but he's not. <laughs> Winter Begonia. Well, Winter Begonia is going out every, like eight episodes a week, right? So yeah, you kind of have to catch it when it comes out because it's not super fast pacing. So if you like, if you miss a few, you kind of like will feel it's too much work to catch it, catch up just because there are a lot of breathing space in that drama, but it's pretty well made so far still, I think. Someday or one day is amazing. Yeah, obviously it's amazing. Loving Slows of Ming Dynasty and Winter I'm trying to read everything. <laughs> Slows of Ming Dynasty. Like I said in my review, it bothered me too much about the accent thing. If, if you can detect it, good for you. I, I just cannot stop from hearing that. It's so. Also just because I think the actor tends to deliver the line in a really, really um, too natural a way. Maybe he speaks like that in real life, which is very, um, very natural to the point that um, there's no up and down, there's no emphasis, everything is like flat. And if you talk like that to, you know, like in daily life, it's pretty okay, but in drama, it just, it doesn't fit with everyone else's. Everyone else is very dramatic <laughs> when you are like, it, it just takes you out. That's the thing. How did I get in, into learning this? Um, I think I started this a long time ago, um, 2010. 10, so that's like 10 years ago. Um, I was in Beijing and I just really wanted to learn it. So I found a, uh, a place that teaches and then I went there and I had class for about over less than a year. 
over more than half a year and every week I go to this teacher's place as so I learn the basics. But then once I got to Canada, which is in 2012, I didn't bring one with me. It's just impossible to carry it uh, the first time you go to, you know, like we travel to, travel to Canada and then you have other stuff with you. So I couldn't. Um, so basically I stopped playing it from 12 until uh, I'm trying to remember that until the, 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 the 2018. So I bought one in 2018, Jul June. I think I got that new, this one. So I got this one and then started sort of relearn it again. Cause I pretty much forgot everything apart from like the basics, you know, the basics, but all the, all the stuff that I used to be able to play, I, I just totally forgot about them. So I have to, <laughs> I had to redo it. Monotone. I don't know. I just, I just think the lead, like the male lead of Sleuth of Ming, uh, Fumon Bo. Like, I don't hate his voice. I think his voice is very nice. It's just the way he speaks, speaks is too. <clears throat> I don't know. It's very hard. It's like, um, like the vocal cord hasn't been closed properly. So there's a lot of air and it's very floaty. It, it feels like it doesn't have strength, you know, and, and also the, the rhythm and pacing are very weird. Gu Zheng. Gu Zheng is bigger. So if you want to learn Gu Zheng, you need a, you, that thing is entirely bigger and it has 21 strings. It's easier to, uh, I think Gu Zheng is easier to start with. Yeah, I would say. Mm. I have, a, I, I've got a friend here, not here, but in Calgary. She's a master of Gu Zheng. I should tell her like I'm live and just, just to let her know. <laughs> she might be writing her uh, final paper this term. So I'll let her know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, you know, never say never. Maybe one day we can, uh, we can, we can do that together in, in some kind of live. But the thing is she didn't bring her Gu Zheng to Canada either. Cause it's too big. It's like so much bigger than this. Any places that would teach Gu Qing, you, you mean where? <laughs> Easiest is China. My roommate is a detective. Hey, yay, Xiao Tao. I agree with you. Oh, so much sunshine. I am so, so into Siye right now. <laughs> My roommate is a detective. Okay. <laughs> Winter Bagalia, I, I, I would take it more like a dessert. You know, I will watch it very casually. I wouldn't stare at the screen like all the time. But for detective, I'll definitely stare at the screen. <laughs> Cause there are just too many good little moments. Hi from France, Red Parika. Are, are you learning Qing as well? Like the bigger the city is, probably more likelihood you can find te uh, people teaching you because this instrument is still very xiaozhong. It's very not mainstream. So even if you go to like Chinese music teaching places, they probably the, the most common one. They probably would teach you gu zheng, like this type of or or other things like er hu, or di zi, flute. Um, easy to start with and uh, stuff like that. So Gu Qing usually is not like priority just because not that many people are uh, learning it anyway to start with in China. So <sighs> yeah, Winter Begonia sets is very, 
expensive, let's just say. And they do a good job at making it believable. Arhu is beautiful. Yeah, I learned Arhu a bit. Uh, I also brought one here, but it's um, it's not a proper Arhu because Ar Arhu uses python skin, snake skin, and it's sometimes it's really problematic trying to bring it over across custom. So I got a uh, artificial skin version, but it sounds really bad. It's just when it's not the animal skin, it always just sounds a little bit off. And then I haven't played it for years, so it's totally rusty. <laughs> like my Arhu string is just like terrible, so I, I gave up on it. I, I think Arhu is one of the mu music instruments that is, has the closest to human vocal quality sound that you have. So you can, you can really like imitate people's voice on it. Like it sounds like human talking. <laughs> the most beautiful Chinese music three. Uh, I, I'm so, I, I can easily like find enough tunes to make one. It's just, first it's a lot of work to do that. And then copyright problems. I still get like not copyright right strikes, but claims all the time from those two older videos all the time. And maybe like, uh, maybe I can move it to, to my second channel. Like it, it's like, cause I own none of the, that, um, copyright stuff. Learning deeds would be similar, I think. But um, this is this is made of bamboo, right? And you need a, like a layer of um, that um, that thing to cover one of the holes, like the traditional deeds. So if you can play flute really well, you probably can learn deeds really easily. But I'm not an expert of deeds. Yeah. That's true. You cannot buy cheap instrument because it will not work. <laughs> oh yeah, Zidu Guqin Studio Music. I know, I know that channel. They're they're so funny. They even use a uh, I think cello or violin bowl to play Guqin, and it sounded really nice. Because <laughs> I mean, the you know it's it's the same sort of like. Phys phys uh, physics, right? It's just um, just playing it in a different way. But I imagine if you have to play it, you can only play it on this string or this string because it doesn't have like this bridge is too flat. Um, if you want to use a bow, it will t you will touch other strings. You can only do this one or maybe this one with an angle, so not touching other ones. Otherwise, uh, it probably would not work. How much was my chain? Uh, it's it's like within normal price range. Uh, if I'm trying to do a conversion in my head, <sighs> under no about Canadian dollars current exchange rate that will be fifteen hundred. I mean, 1200 plus shipping, so something like that. But it's considered to be like basic level. It's not even close to. And I know my qin doesn't sound very nice because my, my qin back home, that is, I got in like 10 years ago. Um, so it's been sitting there, a wood has been sitting there for 10 years since it's made. Um, and already it sounded different from this newer one that's made much more recently. And also this one is called jiao ye, so banana leaf. So you, if you look at like the shape of it, can you tell? It looks like uh, the banana tree, like a banana leaf. So because of this particular style, one thing that comes with this style is it has a very small box, like the uh, broom. You need you need um, the room within this right to res 
to, to create resonance. But because of this, this like leafy edge, they would have to sacrifice a lot of that space for this. So it will result in Jiao Ye usually having a smaller empty space inside, which will give it um, a lesser resonant sound. It sounds more solid and shallow. It does, doesn't sound roomy. <laughs> That's like when I compare this one to the one that I have back in China, it, it's very big difference. And I prefer that one, to be honest. I prefer the sound of that one, the sound box, yeah. I prefer that one. But um, I think I got this one just because I, I like the prettiness. <laughs> and also because you're buying it online, you can't really touch it. So you can't really know exactly what it sounds like. Also like the string, like how old the string has been on also matters. A new string sounds really bad, really, really, really bad. Um, the older it gets, right, the better it sounds. Uh, when I was back in China last year, I I played at a school, like when I tried to change the str string on my older Qing, and they had a old Qing that's like really old, and the string on it is almost black because it's been played for so long. Wow, the sound from that one was just like, oh, is it the same even like instrument? Seriously, I heard that one. I was like, I want this one. And then they were like, not for sale. I'm like, yeah, I can tell. There's <laughs> a huge difference, huge, huge difference. Like when you play. You wait for the sound to totally disappear, right? So for this Qing, it can last this amount of time. But for that Qing, just gently playing it. And that sound will go longer, much, much longer, because it's it's old. The wood is dried fully, and then the, the string has been played, so it has lost its, in Chinese, huo qi. <laughs> These strings are two years, over two years old, two years old, so they're okay. They're much better than the, than the young ones. Yeah, the teapot thing is too, is you have to brew tea with it every day, every day for a long time before it starts to shine and keep that shine. You, <laughs> you bought your laptop because you like the color. Oh my god, that is a bit like it's a computer, you know. Like I, I would consider when I buy computers, I definitely just look at specs. I don't quite care what they look like. <laughs> but Qing is like um, also just because when I was buying it, the the person who was selling it was like, this is a pretty good one from their like factory. Um, they were picking it right and taking videos for me. So I compared this one to a couple of others. I thought this one sounded the best. But it does have some inherent problems because it it's too small. I bought it on a website that ships uh, to everywhere globally. Um, I think I think I've answered that to one of previous whoever uh, messaged me on Instagram. I can't remember it right now. Let me think what's the best way. I have the WeChat of the person who is selling this, like uh, who is working at that site. So I could, I could go and then find it out for you, but then I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it up there. Uh, oh, string. Like string, you, you, and the thing is, once you have the string on your thing, you don't take it down unless it's broken, right? Um, so it kind of goes with it for a long time. If one of them is like broken, you replace it and you don't really move it to a different team. So what I mean, old string is like, it has been on this and you have been playing on it for a while. 
the more you play, your sweat and the oil on your skin, right, makes it smoother. So you feel better, but also it sounded more full and rounded instead of instead of having that new wire metal wire wire sound that sounds really bad. I'll try to I'll try to find the website of that selling team person and then I'll put it on community post because like right now I can't find him. Maybe it's Sound of Mountain, I can't quite remember. It's like, they have like a lot of instruments, not just Qing. I think they have Guzheng, they have Arhu, they have other stuff too. Yeah, maybe it's Sound of Mountain. Yeah, it sounds familiar. <laughs> I don't remember it. Wow, really? Violin string, yeah. So for Gu Qing, you don't really re replace it unless something happened to it. Like my older Qing, because it was in storage for like, what, seven years? So when I took it out last year, it couldn't just like, it's terrible, right? Everything is just terrible. It sounded terrible. It hasn't been touched for seven years. Just imagine. Like it has, basically it has steel inside and then it has a liner, like outside, coiled around it. So that string is totally destroyed. I had to replace it. If like nothing happened, you would not usually uh, replace strings. If you're asking, do I have to tune this? Yeah, every time before you play, you tune. <laughs> Cause if you've like if you've left it right last night and this morning, it may just start it to shift. Cause it's wood and temperature and humidity. So every time you play, you kind of tune it. And then right now it's in the it's tuned to the stuff that I'm gonna play later, but it's not tuned to the standard. The standard would be sol la do re mi sol la. Right now it's mi fa sol la do re mi. <laughs> but um, yeah, there there are actually many different ways of tuning this thing for different for different pieces. <clears throat> so. We can chat about drama for a bit more and then we can start playing this. I've spent most of my like time right now just 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 watching the detective. My my roommate is a detective drama and already there are a lot of like CP fans of this drama, but um a lot of the edits on Billy Billy are uh, being taken down <laughs> again by Aichi. Aichi is just like so bad. Like they are terrible. They're horrible. Talk about like how bad capitals can be. Um, so my edit over there on Billy Billy is totally uh, title and tag free. So the title doesn't suggest that I'm cutting stuff for the drama and the characters and there's no tag on it that suggests it's this drama and those actors. Hopefully that will allow it not to be detected by the uh, copyright holder called IT because IT finds it and IT would ask Billy Billy to take them down and they will. It's not censorship, it's like mirror it's like um cop like they think they are the copyright holder and they don't want to divert any traffic that's like about their stuff to other platform. But the thing is, it's created by people fan work. You know? Like they don't really own that. I wouldn't agree. <laughs> but who cares? That's how it works in China. Yeah, we can just ignore the actress because. You know, like I have the feeling that like she is also a CP fan, because there are so many. Um, I've seen a couple of videos um, of them on set while they were filming. Also, like interviews 
uh, during the during this time when everybody's at home so they were doing those multiple screen zoom kind of like conversation interviews with Zhang Yunlong with Xiao Yan the actor actress and then the host and she is so like uh, so like us like fangirling these two guys coupling because she goes giggling so much when she talks about like you know like she is on set and just watching those two guys smiling at each other and she's standing on the side and just you know it's so funny it's like she's probably a fan like she's the first fan of the cp <laughs> among like other first fans who actually worked on this shoot <laughs> somebody said they played it for half a year married <laughs> Moritz <laughs> I can't read your name because it's too far away I have practiced since 2008 June late June so that's how that's how how many months it has been but I, well, I tried to do it every day, but sometimes I couldn't make it. So I would say maybe five, six times a week, maybe more than that. I, I can't, I can't really say for sure. Also, it, when I travel, like when I'm on the plane, clearly I can't play it. <clears throat> yeah, I've started watching that one. Just, just, uh, Qing Ping Yue. Just so holding holding high castles new version <laughs> it's a, such a long drama it's 70 episodes so you know <laughs> we'll see <laughs> it's 70 episodes i'm like oh just think about that makes my makes my back hurt no wang yibo didn't learn <laughs> Qing. I can tell you for sure because they had uh, a body double when it's close up. Why? Because um, when when it's that hand playing their fingernails, and when it's him playing with him like head in the same shot, there's no fingernail. So you can tell like the tip of the fingernail. It's very easy. Also, the the, the honest thing is this instrument you can't fake it with one day or two days uh, learning it. It just is isn't possible maybe if you've been practicing it for a month or two you can reason reasonably well fake it for a bit um but a couple of days is just not gonna be enough if you, they just teach you how to sit here and how to move it will not be enough just because it requires a couple of muscles that you need kind of to practice otherwise it will just it will just like your hand will look like this when you when you try to press it down because you're not used to use the muscle, that's the thing. Um, no matter like how talented you are, <laughs> it just will look very weird on, on camera. I think you meant um, Vivian, thumb up, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Review Arsenal Army Academy. I know that drama. I still haven't seen it. Can you believe it? Because <laughs> new drama keeps coming and they're like chasing after me. And I'm like, I have so many I haven't seen yet. And they're like in stock, like piled up, like an ever growing dead bodies of <laughs> Chinese drama that I still haven't checked. <laughs> and then the new ones are like, watch me, watch me, watch me. I'm like, ah. And also like I get into this phase, like if I'm really interested in the drama, right? I tend to be more um, tunnel visioned. So like, like during Guardian, I literally couldn't watch any other stuff because my brain is filled with Guardian. I can't, I can't take it. That's, it's very problematic. It's like a super saturation problem. So right now I'm, I'm getting very close to another saturation with my roommate as a detective, which is a big problem because I'm forcing myself to watch other stuff, but I'm like constantly getting, getting interrupted by myself. I 
I couldn't really recommend about getting a Qing apart from one place. That's where I got it. So <laughs> I think that's like people said, Sound of Mountain. They 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 ship globally. Pretty reliable. If you can speak Chinese, uh, I, I, I have WeChat of that person who is like sales representative. So you can talk to them more in detail about uh, payment and then videos and maybe like, you know, taking videos or of, of the stuff being played. Um, yeah. I think it, uh, for a lot of people, guardians are like like that. It's too strong. Because <laughs> guardian is like slowly wearing off, right? Because it's already almost two years. So it's not so like upfront in my mind right now. And that's a good thing. You know, you can't just be in that all the time. It will be, it will be impossible for your mental health. Yeah, right now, just, 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 yeah, for, for the new. New CP. I think because I got into uh, my room of de my roommate is a detective, totally without expectation at all. Also, just because this thing is not based on any existing thing, so there's this there's this thrill of finding out what happens next week that I haven't felt with any drama for so long because. 99% of the Chinese drama these days are totally based on stuff already existed, so you know what happens. You don't even need to read like synopsis or anything. You just know already before the drama even started how it's gonna end, right? It has become a norm like in the last three, five years. Everybody knows what happens. Maybe they do a little bit change here and there, but in general, like where the story is going, you know 100%. But for this drama, you don't because it's original script. There is no existing novel. You have no idea what happens next week. Uh, you may be totally guessing it wrong even like about relationships of characters and that made it so much more exciting because <laughs> everyone is like you know like guessing right what happens next week and and i haven't felt like that for so long i think that's one reason also that i'm so into it because i don't know what happens later yeah we can totally surprise me too because he's so wooden in previous stuff i just couldn't connect with any of the characters he's ever played until this drama i'm like oh okay suddenly suddenly i i get his character and i suddenly get this role and i understand like everything about this person and it reads right right like all the stuff that he tries tries to communicate comes through whereas previously it was just like not feeling anything so Ah, it's like a magical seal on his acting has just been lifted. <laughs> By his birthday, yeah, he's, he's finally 30. Can you believe it? <laughs> he looked like 35, 10 years ago. <laughs> or he looks like 18, 18 today, or literally. He, he probably has like the time traveler's gene or something. Uh, Serenade of Peaceful Joy. I only watched like four episodes, so I'm not sure. <laughs> and it's very slow, right? It's heating up very slowly. It's like a historical that just takes forever for people to say anything. <laughs> I think he finally, I think Hui Tian finally is like getting it. It's like what being an actor means. Previously, he's just being idle and good looking. That's it. But now he's like finally actually creating roles with his acting. <laughs> By his face without his rose thorn. <laughs> because his chin is so unusual right like i mean can you think of another person who has a chin like that i can't like globally not just in asia it's like it's so unusual so when he had that on and off it's like totally different 
if I ever met him in real person, I would really so much want to just pinch his chin for real. I want to feel what it feels like in 3D, in reality, because it looks so unusual. It must be like, it must feel like no one else's chin on this planet. I don't think Antonio Bandera said that. It's not the same. Because his chin is not just, just square and long. It's also like very... Like when you look at from the side, it's like super thin. Like a piece that you can just pinch. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just very unusual. <laughs> His current drama is that uh, he's been a doctor, so <clears throat> we'll see how that how well that one works. <clears throat> Liu Haiquan, yeah, he has he has a jawline too, but it's still not like it's still within normal. Like Bai Yu is a bit unusual. <laughs> And his name is so funny. His name is Liu Haiquan. You know, literally, you can you can read it as the the bands of the hair being wide. Because <laughs> Liu Hai in China means that that hair. So, Quan means wide. Yeah, I will play a bit, in a bit. <laughs> Yeah, bands. Um, cause that's Liu Hai in Chinese. For some reason, <laughs> I don't know why, but it's Liu Hai. So it starts with uh, with a character that is mostly a surname character, and Liu Hai Hai is ocean or sea, but Liu Hai together just means bands. So Liu Hai Quan <laughs> means white bands. <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> I don't think his parents actually thought about that before they named him. Very unthoughtful parents. White, not white. Quan means mm, very white. White bands, white. Not. <laughs> what kind of name is that? I don't know, the parents were probably weren't thinking because because Hai means sea, Quan means white so they probably means a wide sea, right? They probably were thinking about that but the thing is adding his surname on top which is Liu would make the second character become Liu Hai <laughs> that's the problem <laughs> Oh, it's definitely not the worst. I, I've heard even worse ones. <laughs> the worst one is... I, I'm not gonna say it here, it's too weird. And it, it's gonna take a long time to to explain it, but... Um, and you have to know Chinese to understand where the joke lies. <clears throat> you really wanna know? Fan Jian Chang. So Fan is a family name. Jian Chang means strong. But you reverse the order and read that name. And you'll get it. Why it is totally wrong in Chinese. <clears throat> I'm waiting to see if anybody... Uh... <laughs> 肚子疼 is not bad, right? Fan Jian Chang is really bad. Not Fan Jian, Fan Jian Qiang, three characters. <laughs> yeah, it is really bad, isn't it? So if you reverse the order, it becomes rapist, literally. That's the meaning. <laughs> I don't know what the parents were thinking, like, <laughs> for their kid. <clears throat> the kids should just, like, when they grow, grow up, they should just change their own name.
Yeah, that's like one of the worst I've ever heard. So. <laughs> How does that person live? I don't know. My name is very, uh, my name in Chi Chinese is also often, like, whenever people hear it, they will say, Oh, are your parents musicians? I'm like, no, they can't even read the music. <laughs> because it literally sounds, it sounds very similar to the Chinese word that means chord. <laughs> but actually, it's, it's not 100% the same, but it sounds very similar. But it's not the same. And it has nothing to do with the fact that it's a word in music. But at least, you know, it's like not a bad similarity. <clears throat> I have no idea if Xiao Zhen coming to Joy of Life 2. I haven't heard like confirmation, but I think it might be, might be a problem. But it actually may not be because of what happened. It actually might have already been decided before that, it, uh, but I have no confirmed news, so. They're, start, they're, they're gonna shoot it th at the end of this year, so. <sighs> Talk about Bin Bian Bush Hai Tang Hong. Well, apart from, it's really nice. I don't know what else I can say. I'm not so shang tou, right, with that, with that couple because yeah, I guess that they're not at the prime age of um of doing an un screen sort of couple in that way, but I enjoy their performances in Zheng and Hong Xiaomian doing a really good job. I like them as as an on screen couple. I I enjoy watching Shang Xi Rei and Cheng Feng Tai. <coughs> I think everyone is pretty pretty good in that drama. Uh, I think it's one of those lyrics in one of the uh, operas they sing. That's it. Um, it literally means on the side of the hair, the, it is not the crab apple flower that is red. That's the meaning. Because when it's a winter begonia, I don't quite understand why they decided the name being that. Because Hai Tang is actually um, basically crab apple, like it's in the family of apple trees. And Hai Tang flower, apple flower, kind of, usually is used to represent um, women or like pretty. Like it's similar to peach blossoms, meaning. Sideburned? No, Bing Bian is the uh Bing Bing is like this part of your hair. On the side, right here. It's your Bing. So like some people have the corner here, right? That's the Bing Jiao, the corner of Bing. So Bing Bian usually like when you wear flowers as decoration, right? Sometimes you put it here. So the chi the chi like the English title Winter Begonia, I don't think it has anything actually related to the uh, original novel's title, or even like the. I don't know. Maybe they just think crab apple sounds not pretty. <laughs> I have no idea why why they titled it that way. Well, Hai Tang is a flower that blooms in spring, right? Like pretty much like uh, other flowers. They changed everyone's personality in the show. You mean like in in Winter Begonia? I think they did a little bit tweak, tweaking, but not too much. Yeah, crab apple blossoms are beautiful. Let me just double check if it's in tune. Because I thought it was, but um, it sounded a bit weird. Please 
enjoying the big family of watching my roommate as a detective. It's really enjoyable. I'm so into see it. I've never discovered Zhang Yunlong before for some weird reason. He's, he's been around for like, what, five, six years acting? But I guess because he's part of Jia Xing, <laughs> Yang Mi's company, and um, I never actually paid attention to people from that company, so. And, and honestly, he's been in a lot of stuff that are, eh, you know, very mad, <laughs> very mad. So totally didn't see that one coming, but I'm so happy. <laughs> and he used to be a football player a uh, professional football player for 13 years in his life until he suddenly decided I'm not gonna be a football player anymore I'm gonna be an actor and went on acting so he's really good at like you know like playing stuff that needs him to be shirtless because he has good enough sort of base to start enough muscle and the fighting scenes and that type of stuff and obviously playing football he's really good he's like professional like level Football player. Dude, can you imagine that? I think there's a video, like if you go to his Weibo, Zhang Yunlong's Weibo, uh, if you scroll back, like there's not so far down, like last year or a year before, there's a video of him playing football and showing you how good he's at it. <laughs> so, I have a couple of tunes that I can play, but I cannot promise it will be perfect because right now I'm live, so I'm much more nervous. <laughs> I could totally screw it up. He's got puppy eyes, isn't it? Yeah, he's got such puppy eyes when he smiles, oh my god. Probably one of the best smiles in Chinese drama land. <laughs> yeah, the only consolation probably is I probably play better than any of you because you don't have it. Because <laughs> you don't play it, that's the reason. Okay, start with something that I'm not gonna tell you, but you will be able to tell immediately afterwards.
have screwed up <laughs> in many places. <laughs> so when I'm playing on myself, uh, like by myself, it will be better than this. But but I totally do feel much more nervous. So I and also because this um, like Liang Liang, I haven't practiced it for a long time. So I only picked it up over the weekend, um, rereading the music. Because I haven't actually played it for over a year, so not that familiar with it is is one reason. But <clears throat> I screwed up. Yeah, you can tell. Like there are a couple of <laughs> notes that's totally screwed up. It's very clear. Also, this is not my adaptation. So this is on this book by this lady called Nan Yi Xiansheng. I got her book. She actually mailed it to me from China. The mailing is like five times more expensive than the book itself, but hey. So it's from her adaptation. And I think I have links of her video on, on YouTube, her playing it, under one of my older Qin videos. Uh, so this is the one. You probably cannot see it very well, but I, uh, I haven't practiced it for a long time, so that's why. Uh, let's play something that is not related to drama. Timpu look like you. You should go and check my uh blog. My blog. Also, the on Qing recently, the most recent one that is on Untamed and then Qing, and then if you go to the blog and you will see what it looks like. Um, there's one I really like, but it's not a drama one, but it's one of them also adapted by her and it's a Gu Feng song. It's like a ancient style song, basically what we call. It's a pop, yeah, it's pop music, but written in a very Chinese-y, <laughs> I don't know if that's a word, uh, style. <clears throat> and that song is actually called Qing Shi, literally means uh, a Qin player. So. <laughs> But I really like that one, so I'm gonna try to play that one better than I've played Liang Liang. I can't play Mei Hua San Nong, those classic ones, Jiu Kuang, don't ask me, Jiu Kuang is too hard. My Gui Zhi is really bad, I cannot Gui very well. So the thing with this, like trying to play the string with your knuckle on the outside of your fourth finger, like that. Oh. Ah, ah. It's torture, it's literally torture. Okay, I'm gonna try this Qing Shi one and see if it works out well. <laughs>
Okay, that one was better. Still, I'm so sweaty. I will never felt my fingers being that sweaty while I'm playing. Oh my god. <clears throat> the uh, original singing version of this song is at a much faster pace and it has a lot of instruments in it. And then her version of it is super slow and I really like it. This version, I think it sounds better than the, uh, than the, uh, <coughs> the, the, the original song, but that's just me. Qing Shi. So the uh, Gu Feng, the ancient style pop music kind of thing, is Qing Shi. Literally means Qing's master or Qing's player. And anyone watching. Uh, I haven't practiced that one, but I don't know if you watch the animation Legend of Qing or Qing Chao, so Qing Dynasty, or, or Qing's Moon, because I know some people might know Qing Shi Mingyue. Qing Shi Mingyue. There's a very old song in it, a lot of people in China know, called Yue Guang. But I haven't practiced that one. I just wonder if people know. If you know, I can try to play it. If you don't, we can move on to a different one. But I need to retune it. Gu Cheng Bi. <laughs> yeah, Caddy. I, I mentioned, I, I, I started to look at it, but it's really slow. <laughs> it's really slow, right? It's a slow burner. It's like, um, Zhifo Zhifo. Bu Shi Liang Jin Ru. No, it's uh, Hu Yan Bing. It's again adapted by her, but it's a different version, so it's much small, uh, much slower. Yeah, we being is very high pitch, <laughs> but then on this, it's not that high pitch. Yeah, I'm just wondering how many people know it. Yeah, I can I, I can sing like a siren. It just needs a head voice. <laughs> yeah, but that one is a bit long, so we can move on to a different one. Uh, I need to retain this one. Let me think whether I should do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody is typing the right lyrics. I, I can just do a little bit of it. <laughs> practicing that one so yeah but that's the one uh, if you if you've it's an old song a lot of chinese people know about that song <clears throat> Yue Guang, moonlight not the uh classic western music obviously uh okay so let me just tune it to Tsanghai Yi Shenxiao doesn't need okay well, once i tune it to the uh, the standard one is really funny. It could just be played uh, like uh, at one hui for the whole thing.
the lower ones are really hard to make sure because <laughs> they sound different um, when you first block it and then later. Does anyone have perfect pitch here? Because I do not. Hopefully it doesn't annoy you because it's slightly, slightly off. So if you're doing the Cang Hai Yi Sheng Xiao, you just, you just literally need one Hui. Sola, do, re, mi, sola, so you can you can do it here. The whole thing just on one way and all in harmonics. <laughs> Easiest one on Gu Ting. <laughs> Happen to have just all those seven notes and don't even need to do anything else. Are the strings steel? Yeah, the inside is steel and then it has a very fine nylon coil on it. So the, you're touching the nylon part, but inside it's steel. There are three different types of string. You can get this type, which is the most common one today. Another one, is um, the inside is nylon, the outside is this too. So it's no no uh, metal, pure nylon one. Um, it will be softer than this string. Then there's a one that's made of silk. No, no kidding, actual silk, but it's very tightly woven silk. And that string will be thicker than uh, the steel and the nylon one. And it's a torture to play on silk. That's the traditional string because, because on the string, it coils, like there's a layer of that goes very tightly coiling on it. And because it's silk, it's wider and it's, it's really hard. So it pretty much feels like you're putting a finger on a, on a screw and you're going on the, all the edges of the screw and it's really painful. So some people, I think they just want to look cool because like we look like ancient people. So we're going to use silk string to play. It's a bloody torture. Like this is already painful enough. I'm, I'm like, because I tried silk string. I'm like, no way. <laughs> it's like, no way. I'm not going to do that. You can literally, you literally feel your nails are being bumped on it. Because when you're going really fast, it's like and it's so painful. Like your nail is gonna come off. But but some people use silk string. I think they're crazy, but they do <laughs> use silk string strings. So this is the most standard one with a steel core and then very thin nylon and very tightly coiled on. I don't think silk sounds better. Silk sounds more muffled as you can imagine because this is metal string right like the silk string sounds more muffled it's not as bright but some people like it i don't know they just like it mm, okay let's just do a different tuning I can't just play it off like I for 
古琴 I have to like be able to design it first and then play. It's just because with this, you need to first decide what how you tune it for a particular song, and then you need to decide how your finger moves. Because unlike piano, your finger kind of only has that many options in terms of like it's here, right? Like here is for one note, it has many different places that will sound exactly the same. But then which strings, which position do you use so that it's easiest for your hand to get there? <laughs> it needs a little bit of figuring out. So it's, it's impossible to just try to play something immediately unless you don't want anything else. You just want on one string and it doesn't have any uh, chord or anything happening. I have a light up here just so that I can stream and it's not too dark. When I'm playing it, you can probably see here, there's there's like this reflection here, here, the light, right? But on my chin, it's on the surface. There's a really bright spot right here that the varnishing is, is like reflecting into my eyes, which is actually troublesome <laughs> when I try to play and just to look at stuff. So it's a bit difficulty. <clears throat> okay, let's see this one. Oh, to get ready for it. redo that because for one second something just distracted me <laughs> okay let me just double check that maybe I should just relax more because I'm too serious about this one and this one is made by myself that's why <laughs> took me a long time Why? It's like when I want to play it, I just keep making mistakes. I should just start without the front part. That would be better.
<laughs> my brain is not in here. Some reason I forgot what to do here. I think because of the motorcycle, <laughs> I just went by. Well, I'm almost at the end, so. Super chart. Is that a super chat? Yeah. RL White. Thank you. I totally screw up at the very end. <laughs> For some reason. It happens. Try my best. <laughs> I was even trying a one that I uh I really still haven't practiced well enough. Um I was trying to do it last year when I was back home and once I got back here which is August I stopped playing it so not familiar but but um oh thank you again <laughs> yeah boil a pot <laughs> this song it should be called boil a pot okay this one is definitely not practiced, so I'll just play a bit and then if it fails, it fails. Uh, and I'm not gonna tell you what it is. If you watch Chinese drama, you probably know what it is, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of this. <clears throat> Let's see how many people can tell. Many people. <laughs> no, it's not I just it's Chu Jian. Yes, it's from uh from uh, Goodbye Princess. Dong Gong, but it's Chu Jian. It's, it's not the title song, it's the song that um she jumps off the tree thing, I think. But I haven't practiced this one, so <clears throat> this one is like very unfamiliar to me. That's the thing. And it's very long. It's also adapted to Nan Yi Xiangsheng, but it's very long, so. Yeah, I can't I can't do it yet. I tried, I tried my best, but I can't remember it. It's like what seven pages? Six pages, okay. Not too bad, but it's too long, so I haven't done it since last August, that's why I don't remember it. <sighs> okay, maybe it's this stuff. Yeah, but I tried my best. <laughs> so if you, you know, like find this thing interesting and you want to learn that, you know, that would be cool. Oh, thank you for another super chat. 
Miss Bum One. Thank you. Is that is that a dog or a fox? <laughs> so cute. Yeah, I, this one is pretty nice when 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 you can play it full. It's just I'm not um, very familiar. In this key, what else do I have? I don't think I have much. There are a couple couple of songs I tried, but I don't remember. That's the thing. If I don't practice, I don't remember them anymore. So in in this tuning. Donggong is really like it's not my favorite drama, but I understand like why a lot of people love it. And I do find the the lead lead actor like when it was when the drama was really popular, I had no nothing. Like I watched it and I felt nothing in terms of like his acting. But like it was after a while when I rewatched some of it, I was like, okay, okay, I'm getting, I'm getting why people are uh, impressed by him. He, he, he has a very good, um, let's say, foundation at acting. And if, um, if it works out for him well in the future, I would love to see him in other stuff. I just don't particularly like that type of story, I say, um, in terms of like, like, you know, like that very, uh, it's just weird, that kind of romantic story, let's just say. It's almost, well, an hour and a half, so we're almost at the end. I will uh, end this stream very soon, but, um, Oh, let's see if we have something else. There, there's something also. It's not not a drama tune, but um, I like it a lot. But then it's not a drama tune. It's it's Qian Si Shi. I don't know how many people know about that song. How many people know this song? It's a, yeah, it, it's a Gu Feng song. It's not a drama song. But I, I'm like, what? Maybe some drama will will adopt it, <laughs> like they did with the Ai Ai Zhang on on the uh, Goodbye Princess, right? It's a previously existing song that been bought and then put on a drama. I mean, Qian Si would be a really good one to to use. Not sure for what drama, but it would be a really a uh, good one because. It's also adapted by Nan Yi Xian Sheng. I I just really like her ways of doing it. But there's there's a part in it it's really really hard to do. What happened? I'm not even close at doing it well. <sighs> it's really hard. The more you try to learn this, the more difficult it becomes. So I still haven't attempted a couple of really ancient songs that require very difficult skills that I don't want to learn. It's very painful. Earlier, people asked me why do I not play um, Jiu Kuang? Because Jiu Kuang just makes your finger hurt so bad. That's why. I'm just really not good at it. I probably need a teacher. I need to go and see a tutor. To learn a particular thing, Gui Zhi.
Like, I'm tired today. So basically, you're you're using this knuckle to go on the string. <laughs> it's really painful. That's the thing. Hi, thank you. B C H L O N one. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> thank you for your super chat. Yeah, that. <laughs> if you're curious about that, it's one of those really weird things you do with Gu Qing. It's like you have to, you have to use here to go ah it hurts when you try to press it hard so that it doesn't go give you those like right th this kind of sound that means you haven't pressed it hard enough this is hard enough this is not but it just it cuts into your flesh there's no way to, nowhere to run from it it's just one of those ouch things with this usually it's your it's your ring finger on your left hand that suffers most when you play this they just want to put all the painful things on ring finger <laughs> everything else is okay it's just the ring finger it's like uh, <laughs> always been tortured i'm not good at it i know like if you really want to go at it you get a few bl blisters you bleed for a bit and then you will get better at it but i'm like why <laughs> why why <laughs> not to make one's life difficult sun has come out so it's really bright so i'm gonna end this in five minutes <laughs> thank you for joining in and thank you for all the super chats thank you so much really do appreciate that it feels like my chang <laughs> feels like uh my e on the street my e selling artistry literal meaning basically means you know like when you go to the squares and stuff and you just play music and people give you money <laughs> right now nobody dares to do that in the world because everyone is stuck at home so we can just do online my e <laughs> streaming my e <laughs> it's very weird performing to a camera when you cannot see anybody or hear anything from them you know you just you just see scrolling comments it's it's very weird Yeah, my, my computer is telling me there's com some skip frames. So hopefully it's not too bad. It's just connection of the internet. Maybe sometimes it's not working very well. Thank you guys for joining in and spending an hour and a half over that with me. Wasting your life. <laughs> <laughs> so right now I, I am just so in the drama land I'm just so in the CP brain sort of state of um, every day trying to kou tang grabbing sugar you know like carving out sugar out of all the materials floating online for for si and san tu and uh, I'm very lucky that I have a couple of friends that I can talk to um, over WeChat and stuff who are all in this. So we can, we have a group called um, Digging Sugar Group and we'll just dig sugar for each other. <laughs> it's so much fun. <clears throat> and uh, if anybody know, Xinjiang uh, Xiaojian, Pennip from Singapore, that's her. Uh, she's she's on Weibo, quite big account. She's also on Billy Billy. She does drama reviews in Chinese. Yeah, <clears throat> and she's in this hole with me. <laughs> she's in this pit with me, and we're having just so much fun. Just just like silly chat, like fangirling, right? The muscles and the smiles. 
Thank you for listening to my terrible playing. <laughs> I I've been doing this close to two years, and I'm not like even close at doing doing one piece that's like perfect. It's so. I think it's it just gets really hard when, when I'm in front of a camera, when I'm conscious that people are watching me. When I'm not, it's much, much easier. At least my hands would be so sweaty because my hands are so sweaty. And when you're sweaty, it's not very good to play this because you can't go. Like sometimes you just oh, get stopped because your hand wouldn't go any further because of the, the sweat. Yeah, everyone take care and stay safe. Yeah, do your best. Whew. Dig sugar. <laughs> I wish I could. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just so, it's lucky that when you get somebody who, who likes the same kind of stuff as you do. What do you mean by read music before starting? <laughs> oh, you're doing yoga, cool. Yeah. That's the thing, all right? When I when I find a good drama i will try to lure my friends into it thank you um hi <laughs> thank you for your super chat um i do that too i lure the friends that i feel will be interested in it i just lure them in <laughs> i'm so glowing because of the sunshine and also probably because sweat and oil i have very oily skin as you can tell Within this one hour and 40 minutes, like you have already seen me starting to shine like a light bulb. Right now, I'm as oily as the female lead of my room mate is a detective. Do you guys realize that? she's She has the most glowing makeup that I've ever seen on any Chinese actor's face. <laughs> and it totally probably isn't necessary because like everybody else looks pretty like in a good range of glowing and mad but she's like live all bright and shiny i'm like who did the makeup on her like does it have to be that over the top but right now i'm just glowing as shiny like as as she <laughs> yeah if you're watching it you know how glowy she is right like probably right right at this level but this is like one hour and 40 minutes under a light and being really nervous with a very strong song right now she has makeup people constantly touching her up. I don't understand why she glows like a light bulb in that drama. It's a bit weird. <clears throat> well, for all oily people out there, the only good thing is supposedly like your skin gets like wrinkled less, like like slower. At least that's what I heard. I don't know if that's true. Thank you, Alice. Thank you for your support and encouragement. So we're gonna finish this very soon. Let's see if there's anything else that I missed. <laughs> Why would your friend think you're weird just because you watch Chinese drama? It just requires subtitle. Are there people like who just hate subtitles in whatever way? Like whenever there's subtitle, they just hate it. Yeah, basically it's like, if you want to, um, I'm like that too. If I want to jump into a pit, I'll bring someone down with me. <laughs> I sound so evil. Oh, and one final thing. On China's um, live comment on my roommate as a detective, people have named the foreigners club where every single of those foreigners in the French concession that happens in one room, right, in that house, they have named <laughs> named them Ho Ba Cha Hua Hui, stepfather's um, tea. 
uh, meeting because um, there's this Disney did this uh, series of the stepmothers singing over tea, right? Do you remember the song? Da, 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 da. So the, the the stepmothers from the Tangled, from Snow White, from Cinderella, all were sitting there and singing, and so that's called Hou Ma Cha Hua Hui, right? Stepmother tea meeting, and so they 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 call it a stepfather tea meeting. So all the evil are just in one room all the time, and they probably finished shooting all their things in like two days. <clears throat> well, if anyone wants to start, like Alice said, start reviewing on dramas, <laughs> it's a lot of work. That's the thing. You have to watch thousands of episodes per year. Just like, yeah, get ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, say they're being cringy, but at least it's actual like foreigners dubbing them. Like you can tell, it's like some British, really over British guy dubbing the actor who is, I think, Canadian. Because I read the no credits. There's one guy from Argentina, one guy from um, Canada. Nobody is from Britain, but they are faking to be. British people, so I guess like they have to even like dub them because they don't sound British enough <laughs> It's weird. It's really weird But at least at least it's properly dubbed in terms of like you can tell it's a it's a British person Okay, so I am about to end this. Thank you guys for joining me then in this and um <laughs> My computer is telling me it has skipped five times in the past how many so hopefully it wasn't too bad in the live stream and take care wherever you are and I'll see you on the uh, um, um, Weekend the weekend video uh, Although actually not that much has happened. I haven't collected really any important news about drama Land this week So we'll see what happens with that video. Maybe I'll just sing in that video <laughs> I'm pretending to be interesting Okay Take care, wherever you are, stay safe, and I'll see you.